What's going on my brothers and sisters in Christ? Welcome to another Source of Light video. So today, uh, I just want to talk about something that the Lord has been putting on my heart a lot recently. Um, and so I just wanted to share kind of what's in my heart out to you guys because I believe, I mean, it can just help you guys if you guys are kind of in the same state that I'm in. And the state that I'm in is I just want more of Jesus. I've, I've, been, I've got to this point where it's like, I just want to be in his presence. I just want more of him. I want to think like him. I want to like act like him. I just want to be completely immersed by him. And that's kind of where I'm at in this season. And I love it, but I also just feel like this like agitation because I want it now. And it's like, you know, you just want to go into a room and just feel the presence of the Lord fall. And then it doesn't happen like that. Uh, sometimes it does. But, you know, it doesn't it doesn't always just come like that. And so there's something that I read here recently that really opened my eyes to how to obtain that closeness and that intimacy with the Lord. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. And that's found in Hebrews 13, 5. And it says, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. And as I was reading that, it's like I, it's like the Lord just caught my attention and I begin to dwell on that. And let me share with you guys kind of what was coming out of my heart. It says that we should keep our lives free from the love of money and be content with what we have. If you think about it, in order to reach that level of intimacy, like with my wife, in order to reach that level of um, trust and closeness, fellowship, intimacy, you spend time with them. When you first meet, you know, like when I first met my wife, it wasn't like I knew everything about her. It wasn't like I loved her when I first instantly met her. No. But that love grew as we spent time together. And so the Lord impressed my heart that that's the same thing with him. You want to get closer to the Lord. You want to love the Lord and be like him and act like him. Well, you got to spend time with him. The only way to get closer to the Lord is by spending time time you know we don't when it comes to my relationship with the lord it's not like i can just go spend money and get closer to him no the currency is time if that makes sense and so when it says to keep your hearts free from the love of money and be content it got me thinking what am i spending my time on because we all spend so much time trying to pursue the next thing more money a nicer car, a nicer home. And then when we get what we've been praying for or been desiring, we want something else. And that's that's the problem with America. We want the next big thing. It's like we can never be content because we always feel like we have to keep pushing for what's next, what's ahead. And so we can't even enjoy the now because we're pushing on what's next. And the, and, and, and the Lord says, don't love money like that. Be content with what you have. And so I was thinking about that. I'm just like, wow, imagine if we were just content with where we were at. We didn't care about the social media likes. We didn't care about posting every day. We didn't care about what the news said or what we see scrolling on our phone. We didn't care about getting the next big thing, the next promotion, but instead we just cared about using our time for the Lord. Now, don't get me wrong. We have to work, right? So we have to work to make a living and pay our house and that's fine. But what about the other like hours in between that? What do we do? Are we on TV scrolling uselessly? That was my problem. I always just scrolled uselessly on my phone, watch YouTube all the time. I was, when I had free time, it was like, oh good, I get to go do what I want to do now because I'm done with work. I spent time with God in the morning and now I get to go. But if we truly desired to get closer to Jesus, we have to look at our own lives and what we're doing with our time. Because if we put down the phone, the TV, the YouTube, and all that free time, we just dedicated it to getting closer to God. Imagine what would change. Imagine what would happen. And it's not like you just live a poor life now because you desire Jesus so much. Actually, it's the exact opposite. Instead of caring about these useless things, when you spend time with God, he gives you ideas. He gives you business ideas, investment ideas. He gives you ideas that are going to promote you to a next level. So it's not like we spend time with God and then it just that time 
disappears and you know nothing comes of it. No, that time with the Lord recharges us, refuels us, gives us ideas. He speaks to us. And it's more beneficial to spend time with Christ than it is on YouTube or social media. And so that's kind of what he's been talking to me about is like, what am I doing with that extra free time that I have? Because if I truly desire him and want to be like him, then I need to get close to him. And how do I get close to him? By getting into the word, by praying and worshiping and just having my attention on him. And so that's what I'm working on right now. And I just wanted to encourage you guys and share this with you in case you're in the same boat and you want to like get so much closer to the Lord. That's kind of what he impressed on my heart is just our time with him is like more precious than gold. And what we get from our time with him is, is better than any investment idea that we could ever come up with. And something else that he impressed on my heart during that time was imagine Imagine the stress that would be lifted off of us. Imagine the anxiety that would be lifted off of us if we stopped worrying about the next thing. If we stopped worrying about getting more followers, getting more money. Imagine if we stopped worrying about that and just found our fulfillment in Christ, what that would do to our peace of mind. And uh, that really hit me hard too because it's like, the, one of the reasons why we stress so much as Americans is because, oh my gosh, how are we going to pay our bills? How am I going to do this and that and that? And the reason why we stress over paying our bills is because we stressed about getting the next big thing. So then we got into debt in order to buy that nice car we can't afford. We got into debt to, we got in debt to buy that bigger house that we can't afford. And so now that house and that car actually owns us because we are working to pay that off. And that just adds unnecessary stress when the Bible says, hey, be content with what you have. Enjoy what you have and God will provide the rest. So I love you guys. Um, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Let's talk. Let's hang out. If you want to follow my social media, that's at the Tony Kell. You can click that link down below as well to follow me. Um, yeah, that's really it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I love you guys. Jesus always loves you more. And let's change the world.